Welcome to Ether Insights. Welcome to Ether Insights. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to the part two of this uh, topic, this video series. Uh, basically, you know, why and how to create your own smart contract uh, for your NFTs. So in the last video, we talked about, you know, why you may want to create your own uh, smart contract. And I'll link uh, that video in the description if you want to check that out. But in this video, we'll uh, do a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial of how to create your own smart contract on Rarible. Um, so yeah, Rarible.com lets you uh, create your own smart contract. Uh, and Rarible.com also has this test network under rinkb.rarible.com. Rinkb is one of the Ethereum uh, test networks. And this is where you can test things out before you push it out to the main network. And because Ethereum transactions cost a lot of money, it's always a good idea to do the testing in here. So if you were to deploy your own contract, I suggest you do a test deployment on Rinkb and you know just test things out and then only deploy it on the actual Ethereum uh, network. So what I'll do is I will first of all go to rinkb.variable.com and you'll see some of the uh, test uh, collections in here, you know, some test collections. So this is different than the main variable.com page, which has real stuff. So um, I'll start by click, clicking on create and everything is going to be pretty similar to the actual variable uh, production website, right? So it's just, the, this is, I'm testing this. So I'll click on single. Let's say I want to create a one of one NFTs or under my contract. I'll click on single. And it does tell you that choose single if you want your collectible to be one of a kind or multiple if you want to sell one collectible multiple times. So I want to do a one of one. So I'll choose the single option. All right, so once I get to this page, I have to upload my file for from which I want to create this NFT. So I'll choose a file. You know, I'll choose this image that I created using Python, which I want to sell as an NFT. I'll choose the fixed price option. I'll price this at 0.1 ETH. And now this is where it gets interesting. And this is the whole point of our video is, do you want to go with the variable collection, which is the shared contract where any artists can mint under? Or do you want to create your own contract, ERC721 contract? And this is what we want to do in this video. So I'll click on this and I'll say, um, what's my token name, right? My token name is obviously Ether Insight because, you know, uh, I'm Ether Insight, right? Uh, this channel is Ether Insight. So the symbol, I will say ETHR Insight, something like this. So every token that's minted on this contract will have this symbol, you know, uh, oops. So once again, Ether Insight. And description is, this is a collection for Ether Insight art or in NFTs. And the URL is gonna be Ether Insight NFT and I create a collection, right? And at this point, uh, MetaMask or your wallet will uh, ask you to confirm that transaction. This is the creation of your contract. This is why you need to pay. Uh, and at this point, you have to pay for creation of your contract. So I click on confirm. It's going to take a while and while this uh, spins up you know it's going to take a while uh, once again just to give you an idea on the main ethereum network um, from what i've seen it takes you about uh, 0.2 eth to deploy a smart contract if you do it when the gas price are low all right so if you randomly deploy it your cost might be a thousand dollars or something even more but if you wait when the gas is low then your cost can be sometimes you know around 0.2 eth so my contract is deployed. Now I have to 
uh, sign uh, a, a message so I click on start and I sign this message and I'm ready to be uh, and I'm ready to mint this NFT under the Ethereum Insight collection right so now instead of just getting the variable uh, collection option I also have my Ethereum Insight option collection option now this is where I will say the title of my NFT the the NFT that I'm minting is of a highway so this image, you know, is a, I call this the highway. I created this with Python, but it looks like a highway. So I'm creating, calling this the, uh, the highway. The description is uh, colorful metaverse highway, right? Um, and royalty, I get, you know, 10%. I'm gonna do that. Um, and under advanced option, I get to choose the properties, you know, I uh, say um, points five i don't know i'm just adding some random properties or metadata for this nft and um, and anyways um i create the item and this is the process of minting my nft earlier we created a contract now this is where we're minting the nft so i confirm the transaction and this will cost you money as well when you do this on the ethereum network as we all know everything on ethereum costs you money right transaction so you have to be um, careful uh, not to mint you know uh, by mistake so uh, this process is done I approve the transaction and this is done and I set the fixed price I just have to sign uh, this and my NFT is created by the name of Highway. Uh, by the way, I have this uh, NFT minted on the HEN platform on Tezos, this, this image minted as an NFT, uh, if you want to check that out, and I'll link that in the description below. Um, but anyways, let's look at this NFT. And you will see that this NFT is uh, under the uh, Ether Insight collection, right? It's not under variable; it's under Ether Insight. And here's my metadata that I added: point of five. Uh, but let's let's do this. Let's click on history, and let's look at the mint transaction on Ether Scan. So if you click on this arrow, this will take you to the Ether Scan on Rink B network. So once again, this is the test network. And it will tell you right here, Rink V Testnet. And you'll see that the token ID is one because obviously this is the first token I minted under this contract. And the contract is, uh, the, the contract uh, token uh, tracker is Ether Insight. So the max supply is right now one Ether Insight, only one holders, and there's been one transfer so far. So once again, you know, this is how you create your uh, own smart contract on Rarible using Rarible.com. Once again, this demo was done on the test network, but if you want to do this in the real Ethereum network, then you can follow the same steps. The only thing that you should be careful of is it's going to cost you really ETH when you deploy on Ethereum, and it's probably going to take you somewhere around 0.2 ETH when you deploy your own contract. So with that, um, thank you for watching and if you have any questions let me know in the comments I'm ready to do a deep dive on any of these uh, things I showed today if you have any questions and if I get enough interest in a follow-up and let me know what other kinds of video that you want me to create uh, that you might be interested in and I'll try to create a video on that topic you can find me on Twitter at ether insight and I post some uh, tweets about NFT and Ethereum and blockchain and also share some of my art there. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching again. I'll see you in one of my future videos.